Uh, Senator Kennedy. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Congratulations to all of you. I enjoyed hearing about and meeting some of your family members. Um, Ms. Morrison, which, which, uh, which branch of government uh, passes criminal statutes? Uh, the legislative branch. Yes, ma'am. Um, and legislators, of course, I think we can agree, are elected by the people. Um, do you think it would be fair to say that the people in our legislatures, legislators, uh, define uh, criminality for our communities? That's correct, Senator. Okay. Do you think it's appropriate for a district attorney to decide uh, to ignore criminal statutes and not to prosecute an entire line of cases? Thank you, Senator, for that question. You're welcome. <laughs> um, district attorneys, as you know, are accountable to the people. Um, and the citizens who elect them. And I know it has become an issue in elections about the extent to which district attorneys will use the resources of their office to focus on particular yes, categories. And what do you think about that issue? Do you um, think it's, let me ask you again, do you think it's appropriate for prosecutors to say, I disagree with the legislature and the people, and I'm not going to prosecute an entire line of cases? Um, Senator, I think it is appropriate for prosecutors to evaluate each case that comes before them and almost yes, every prosecutor. but that's not what I'm asking. I know you, I mean, you're smart, okay? I can tell from your resume. Let me say it again. The people elect their legislators. Legislators say on behalf of the people, this is a crime which society will not tolerate without punishment. Do you think that it's okay for prosecutors to say, I disagree and I'm not going to prosecute an entire line of cases. I don't care who is charged. Do you agree with that? Um, Senator, I agree that prosecutors have the legal option to use the flexibility no, given to them. No, but when they exercise that option, do you agree with that? I think it would depend on the circumstance under which they're exercising it and, and what the rationale was for their Well, decision. what are the circumstances where it's okay to do that? Uh, so I think... Prosecutors in this country uh, work very difficult jobs under very demanding conditions. I'll stipulate to that. But we have prosecutors who are saying, to hell with the legislature and the people. We're not going to prosecute an entire line of cases. And I, I think my question is pretty straightforward. Do you agree with that or disagree with it? Um, Senator, I have never worked as a prosecutor. I have. Um, yes, ma'am, but, but you've read about it. Yes, ma'am. What's going on? Do you agree with it or disagree with it? Uh, Senator, I, I, I think I don't think I can give a categorical yes or no to that because I think I it think would depend on the I think you just answered my question. Uh, what do you think about the job being done by District Attorney Krasner? I believe you work for the District Attorney's re -election, or, or election. Do you think he's doing a good job or a bad job? Uh, Senator, I did not actually work on District Attorney Krasner's campaign. I've been okay. an adversary of that I apologize. Office. Do you um, think he's doing a good job or a bad job? Um, uh, Senator, I don't think it would be appropriate as a judicial nominee for me to comment on the performance of an elected well, official. Why not? Uh, because there is always a chance that a case could come before me in which someone has, say, a prior conviction I'm, from Philadelphia who is then prosecuted in New York, and any commentary that I, I made on that office um, could be grounds. Uh, well, for isn't isn't for that the case. convenient? Um, do you think judges? Apparently, you think that prosecutors should be able to say, we're not going to prosecute a line of cases and a, and a, 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 a group of crimes despite the solemn expression of a legislative will. Do you think judges should be able to do that? Say, I don't agree with this criminal statute. I'm not going to prosecute. Uh, I'm not going to hear cases for any of them. Uh no, Senator. Judges do not prosecute cases, and, and I, I, I know that. But do you think a judge should say, I don't want to hear, I'm going to dismiss all these cases because I don't agree with the criminal statute? I think you understand my question, Ms. Morrison. I do, Senator, and, and, and I would 
uh, I'm trying to recall how you phrased the question, I would agree with you, uh, or at least my position would be that judges cannot refuse to adjudicate or hear a case uh, and ignore the will of the But district attorneys can. Uh, as executives, they are granted with greater discretion. For example, um, district attorneys day in and day out. A whole line of cases. Complaints, complaints from the police that they then evaluate based on the evidence. Do you think a district process. attorney, it's appropriate for a district attorney saying, look, in the name of, of uh, social justice, I'm not going to prosecute armed robberies anymore. Do you agree with that? Um, Senator, I would, I would stand on my previous answer. I think it would depend on the circumstance. I'm not aware of any district attorney in the country how, that How can said, I vote for you if you won't answer a straightforward question like that, Counselor? Um, Senator, I, I would hope that you would consider the entirety of my record and my qualifications and the work that the I've done. The problem is I have. And, and I see all these comments you've made in favor of the district attorneys who in the name of social justice... And you've, you, you've spoken glowingly of all of them, and now you won't answer my question about it. You say it's inappropriate. And I just don't, I think it's really appropriate. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Senator Kelly.